What do you think? Is it possible to find in the secondary market a C-Class car aged 4 to 5 years with rich equipment at a relatively reasonable price and so that for at least another 3 or 4 years you do not have to seriously invest in its repair? Voice of the People says it is possible, if not to be a snob, to include a car like the second generation Kia Seed on the list of options. A car called Seed appeared in the Kia lineup in 2006. The first generation of the model received the factory code ED, and this was no accident later these letters were included in the name of the model, which became an abbreviation derived from the words Community of Europe and European Design, Community of Europe and European Design. The model was indeed completely developed in the European design and design centers of the company and was intended to replace the not-so-successful Cerrado markets in Europe. But we are interested in the second generation of the model with the factory code JD, presented at the Geneva Salon 2012. The novelty was built on the latest Hyundai Kia J5 platform at that time and received a new design, developed under the direction of Peter Schreier, and very rich and modern equipment, which included swiveling xenon headlights, a panoramic roof, heated steering wheel, and car parking. Technically, the second generation seed was a product of the evolutionary development of the first. The wheelbase and suspension schemes remained similar to their predecessors, McPherson struts in front, rear suspension independent, multi-link, three transverse and one trailing arm on each side. It is worth noting that all these improvements led to a noticeable increase in price, and CJD almost went beyond the boundaries of the budget segment. Buyers were offered a line of three bodies, a three-door hatchback Proceed, a five-door hatchback and station wagon Seed SW. SW can be decoded as both station wagon and sport wagon. As in the case of Seed ED, the production of the model for the Russian market was organized at the Avtoder plant in Kaliningrad. However, a number of units were not included in the engine line for Russia, in particular, all diesel engines. The base engine was a 1.4-liter Gamma G4 FA family with a capacity of 100 horsepower. It was mated to a six-speed manual. More expensive modifications were equipped with an atmospheric Gamma 1.6 MPI with the G4 FG index, 130 horsepower, which was paired with a six-speed A6 MF1 hydromechanical automatic machine or the same six-speed manual. In 2015, the car underwent restyling, which only slightly touched the exterior and interior design. But it was with the restyling that the car received a number of new options, and most importantly, the range of engines was supplemented by a 135 horsepower G4 FD engine with GDI direct injection, also with a volume of 1.6 liters. A non-alternative six-speed DCT robot with dual clutch was assigned to it, and we will talk about restyled cars. In 2018, the third generation of the model was born, the assembly of which was also mastered at Avtoder. The apostrophe disappeared from the model name, the car became simply called Seed, and Seed JD migrated to the secondary market. It should be noted that prices for it are kept at a fairly high level. Even for versions with a 1.4-liter engine, which worked well in a taxi and ran 350 to 450,000 kilometers, they asked for 550 to 600,000 rubles, but for relatively fresh specimens with a 135-horsepower engine and a robot, in rich trim levels and with relatively small, less than 100,000 runs, sellers want 1.3 to 1.7 million rubles. Someone will say, one and a half million, or even a million for a Korean golf class. Crazy expensive. He is still not going, according to rumors. But if you carefully study and comprehend what the owners write in their reviews, it turns out that such a purchase today can be quite meaningful. Hate number five, it has no flavor. There are cars that have hundreds of glaring flaws. They often break down and require constant attention and considerable financial investments from the owners. But all the same, the owners of such cars stray into clubs and communities, organize regular meetings, discuss the most burning sores and ways to improve their cars, and on the internet they unanimously beat off the attacks of other motorists who do not want to understand the approach and the style of I won't leave it anyway, because he is good. And all because such cars give the owners unique emotions, whether it is the delight when cornering at top speed or the joy after successfully driving through muddy logging ruts in a swampy forest. 
So, the hero of our story definitely does not apply to this kind of car. It cannot be called quite a turtle, but it does not give a special driver's drive either. It manages well, it keeps quite confidently on the track, but it doesn't provoke a violent assault on bunches of fast corners at all. Dynamic capabilities also do not give a reason to pretend to be a road racing pilot. So the owners write on the internet, it steers and keeps the road well, but it's scary to drive faster than 145 kilometers slash h on standard tires, multi-link suspension implies good handling, but, alas, this is not about Sid, Rio, and Solaris with a beam drive like this however, there is no question of any excitement when maneuvering. He has a lot of other advantages, which we will discuss below, but emotionality is definitely not among these advantages. As the author of one of the reviews wrote, Seed is a car for the layman, just a car in the truest sense of the word. It won't give you crazy emotions, but at the same time there are no problems with it. Love number 5, Good Design To be honest, I did not come across a single review in which the author would tell how he saw the Kia Seed and fell in love with the car at first sight. Nevertheless, in the vast majority of reviews, the appearance of the car is evaluated, if not enthusiastically, then at least very positively, the exterior of the car is one of the most successful in its class, in my humble opinion, Kia C2 is one of the most beautiful cars available to a simple layman today, the appearance is always taste and color, but as for me, Schreier from the Bavarian Motors did a great job. Indeed, the hand of a real master is felt in the appearance of the model, and Peter Schreier is undoubtedly one of the most talented designers of our time. And the energetic three-door Proceed, and the five-door hatchback, and station wagon look very harmonious, and there is certainly not a single detail in them that would cause rejection. Yes, the model, perhaps, lacks some kind of uniqueness and 100% recognition at best, it is immediately recognizable as a Kia primarily due to the tiger nose, which the same Schreier once invented. Yes, such a design can leave someone simply indifferent. But, as one of the owners rightly wrote in his review, the appearance, like for everyone, is not for everybody. Who likes sharper corners and solutions, you go to the i30, if the transitions are soft, then this car is right to the point. And here's something else interesting to note. Many reviewers believe that the Seed SW station wagon looks more interesting than hatchbacks, including due to the horizontal line of the upper part of the rear lights and a flat window sill line. No less curious is this fact. Among the owners of Seed there are many representatives of the beautiful half of humanity, and many of them believe that, despite the smooth outlines, the appearance of the car is more male than female. But the male part of the driver's audience does not care about the gender orientation of the model at all. Hate number four, weak paintwork, delicate finishing materials, poor headlight. Kia Seed is a modern car and, like so many modern cars, cannot boast of high durability of the paintwork. And the blame for everything is the struggle for the preservation of the environment, which forces us to change the technology of coloring and use water-soluble compounds. So the owners complain, the paintwork is terrible, mushrooms appeared on the trunk in three years, the disadvantages include a weak paintwork, chips from stones quickly appear on the hood, the paintwork is not the best. The only consolation is that the body itself does not have a tendency to intense corrosion, as well as the fact that, compared with the previous generation, the quality of painting has clearly improved, the paintwork has become better, and the machine, if not broken, does not rot, LKP, as on many today's cars of other brands of this class, is weak, but the body is well galvanized and does not rust immediately. In addition to the unstable external paintwork, the owners also complain about the lack of stability of some interior finishing materials. Then the artificial leather of the upholstery of the seats will crack, it will quickly be erased and the steering wheel and the gear selector knob will lose their presentation. In fact, such shortcomings are by no means serious, and they are mentioned by the authors of purely positive reviews. Approximately the same picture is observed with the assessment of headlights. On the one hand, the owners like the fact that additional sections are turned on when turning, and on the other hand, they don't like the very quality of the light, specific optics. On the one hand, excellent cornering lighting, I got used to it instantly, pedestrians in the yard are afraid. 
On the other hand, the neighbor is frankly weak. Halogen headlights do not shine brightly enough. I had to buy high brightness lamps. Owners deal with this problem in different ways. Someone simply puts more powerful light bulbs while someone installs xenon or LED sources. Love number four, equipment. The Kia brand has always distinguished itself by the rich equipment of its cars and Seed is no exception. The owners really like that even in the middle configuration they got a lot of functions, sometimes available only for cars of a higher class. When you get behind the wheel, it seems that you get into a spaceship. A lot of varnish, chrome, a comfortable leather steering wheel, a color monitor, radio with a large touch screen, well done Koreans. It is necessary to try to stick parking sensors, dual zone climate control, cruise control, a limiter, manual switching with paddles on the steering wheel, Bluetooth, and other USB ports into the average configuration and leave the model in this price category. Comma in the FIFA 2018 version, pile carpets with a logo, 8-inch radio with navigation, a rear view camera, dual zone climate control, a bunch of pillows and heaters, except for the windshield, a lot of gloss in the interior and no less chrome in the exterior, there are four automatic windows, six speakers, voice control, Bluetooth, heated steering wheel, front seats, three level, wiper zones, mirrors, and, accordingly, the rear window. And this is in the average configuration comfort. The owners especially like the set of warm options, a separate respect for the heating of the steering wheel, front seats, mirrors, and the lower part of the glass, an extremely cool thing in winter. About five minutes before the exit, I turn on the engine from the signaling, I get into the cabin with a hint of heat, and by the time I leave the yard it's already comfortable in the car. A nice bonus is winter options, heated steering wheel, seats, side mirrors, and windshield in the wiper area. At the same time, in many reviews you can read that most of all their authors are pleased with the steering wheel heating. By the way, in the budget segment in general and Class C in particular, this option first appeared in the first generation Kia Seed. Of the minor shortcomings, some owners note only that only the middle part of the seat back is heated and the lower back remains cold. Of course, our man will always find a reason to grumble a little. For example, in many reviews you can see the regret that only the rest area of the wipers is heated and not the windshield as a whole. Or take, for example, a multifunction steering wheel. It is distinguished by the abundance of controls placed on it. 16 controls are really solid. But it seems to someone that it is too difficult to master such a set. They stuffed everything and thoughtlessly. A bunch of buttons, you forget that where, the devil's leg will break. The most interesting thing is that we drive Kia to work five days a week, but I can't remember how to turn on and set up the cruise. I always delve into it again by typing. The owners evaluate the presence of a rear view camera very positively, but they complain that the lens quickly becomes dirty. The rear camera becomes dirty after five minutes of driving on a wet and muddy road and at good speed. And in Moscow, it's consider all winter plus autumn plus spring. And, of course, it's very convenient. Few people mention the automatic parking function among the advantages. Firstly, it is not available in many trim levels. And secondly, many owners simply do not use it. Some, for the reason that they consider it redundant, and others are not satisfied with how it works. The valet does not always work. It does not park in too narrow and too large places. And even under normal conditions, it does not always work. Parallel parking is more or less fine, but perpendicular parking is not so good as the car tries to push harder to one side, and in the end you have to either interrupt the parking or repark. There are complaints about the regular navigator. The regular navigator immediately forget about it in the city. Traffic jams can only be loaded via Wi-Fi. For this you need to manually connect the network before each trip. It does not download information about traffic jams immediately, but only after 5 to 10 minutes. Someone grumbles that it would be nice to have seat ventilation in the heat. Someone complains that it would be possible to make a button for opening the trunk lock from the passenger compartment. Otherwise, they have to constantly jump out of the car and get their hands dirty, looking for a key on the fifth, well, or third, doors. But all this can be considered trifles, and there are still much more positive reviews. 
In the mass of reviews, the authors note the soft plastic that trims the interior, the well reed instrument panel with supervision backlight and three separate wells. And a lot of separate delights are devoted to the panoramic roof. I want to note the panoramic roof, from which the cabin is very light and spacious. And by the way, in winter the snow melts from the roof itself, physics, and in summer you can use the roof in two modes, ventilation and full opening. Children are completely delighted with it and are ready to sit and look at the sky all the way without distracting you from driving. This equipment has a panoramic roof, and because of this, even the three of us are not cramped for passengers in the back. It seems that there is a lot of space in the car and light. In general, it is the equipment that determines the overall impression that Kia Seed leaves, very convenient and comfortable. Before that, they owned a new Mercedes C180. This car is no worse. Even for much less money, it has a lot more features. Hate number three, suspension performance, lack of dynamics. First of all, it is worth noting that the Korean designers have done a serious job trying to get rid of the very lax work of the seed rear suspension while leaving the model as comfortable as possible. But suspension tuning is a kind of magic and finding the right balance requires not only knowledge, but also some flair. And if on hard surfaces the Kia suspension behaves quite decently, at least, the owners confidently add smoothness and handling to the list of advantages of this model, then on primers, a greater and in general on our broken directions, the picture changes. There are no complaints here. The suspension works like a typical Korean, you feel it with your whole spine, the suspension is bad. Recumbents almost have to crawl over, otherwise it breaks through, there is a multi-link behind, and it jumps worse than a beam if the trunk is empty. On winter bumps, especially in the yards, you roll like in a minibus, in case of large irregularities, the suspension quickly goes to breakdown. Behind the pits on the road, and when driving through bumps on side now you have to look more closely, I absolutely do not like the smoothness of the ride. It's impossible to drive on a moderately broken road, it's shaking. Fortunately, such breakdowns most often do not lead to catastrophic consequences, a separate plus for the suspension, it is not killed. It flew into the pits more than once, it pierced hard, but during routine inspections, no damage was found. But regarding the dynamic characteristics of the car, there is no unity of views. Some reviewers assure that everything is in order, overtaking is quite confident, even loaded, many people write that Kia Seed is a vegetable, does not go. So, she goes quite quickly, without jerks, gaining up to 100 km slash h, holds the road well at 150 km slash h. On the track, you don't get nervous that you won't have time to overtake the truck, and this is not enough, plus 5 to the nervous system. But those who believe that there is clearly not enough power for dynamic driving are still more. The main problem is weak dynamics. The 1.6 liter gasoline engine is too weak for this car. There is enough power for the city and the highway only if you are driving alone. But if you put three passengers on the road, the car dies. That is, you can disperse it. But a sharp overtaking, this is not her. Despite 130 horsepower, the dynamics are not enough, but the ideal machine for the city, dynamics, it is almost non-existent. A bunch of automatic plus 1.6 plus weight take their toll, write the authors of the reviews. Even such emotional philippic sound, I will say this, if you want a normal dynamic car, don't take Kia. Since the beginning of operation, my nervous system has become loose, pressure is naughty, turtle syndrome has appeared, some voices have appeared in my head, replace the car, replace the car. I used to think that for the teapot I went onto the road and didn't go, but now I understand, it's not him, the teapot, it's his car that doesn't accelerate. At the same time, the authors of the reviews place the main responsibility for the lack of dynamics not so much on the motors as such, but on the operation of the boxes. Naturally, the DCT robot gets the most bumps, the engine and gearbox are not friends at all, they live a separate life. Fast acceleration does not work, it will not work quickly to pick up speed on the highway. And the owners are also very annoyed by the behavior of the robotic box in the city, especially in traffic jams, regarding traffic jams. The Korean robot doesn't like them. 
The car wants to go faster, it constantly strives to accelerate, hence the twitching, in this configuration. For those who don't know, there is a robot with two clutches. For me, it doesn't blunt on shifts, but if you start to accelerate sharply from braking or slow down from acceleration to the floor, it pushes. However, this is, like, not a bug, but a feature of the robot. The box is stupid, but it starts to pull only in traffic jams. When driving without strong hourly traffic jams, it does not jerk. But the six-speed hydromechanics of the A6 MF1 are praised by the reviewers for the clarity and smoothness of switching. The box is just perfect smoothly and comfortably picks up speed. Without jerks and twitches, the box behaves perfectly, does not kick. But in many reviews, the authors emphasize that both for more or less confident maneuvers in the city and for overtaking on the highway, it is necessary to switch down using the paddle shifters or the selector and turn the engine up to five to 6,000 revolutions. As a result, in many reviews you can read dreamy size, they say, Koreans would put their 2 liter 150 horsepower engine on seed and there would be not a car, but a song. Love number three, cost of ownership, fuel consumption and residual value. In an absolutely overwhelming majority, the authors of the reviews are completely satisfied with the level of operating costs of the second-generation restyled Kia Seed. As you know, these costs are determined by the cost of scheduled maintenance, the probability and regularity of unscheduled repairs, primarily serious and expensive ones, and fuel costs. Let's start with current maintenance. The price of service does not stand out from the general mass. Tiashki came out pretty cheap, on average 9 to 11,000 rubles. The cost of service is very comfortable. In terms of service prices, everything is very affordable compared to other cars of this class. Indeed, according to the owners, all maintenance costs about 10,000 rubles, plus or minus a thousand. In general, the service is not annoying. The cost of unscheduled repairs is directly related to overall reliability, and we will talk about it separately. It is important to mention here that Seed is a mass car, and the owners do not note any problems with finding the necessary spare parts. At a price, spare parts are quite affordable, and the need for them arises infrequently, inexpensive spare parts, and I didn't change anything for 70,000, only consumables, this model will last for a very long time, in repair, even if something breaks, this not a Range Rover, the car is so simple that it can be repaired at any service for minimal money, it is a pleasure to maintain. For 90,000 kilometers the car did not ask for absolutely anything. Change the oil and filter and keep on riding. As for consumption, there is no complete unanimity here, for a number of reasons. Firstly, the consumption itself is very dependent on the driving style and nature of operation, and secondly, its assessment is determined by a subjective approach to the figures obtained. Someone will consider the consumption of 9 to 10 L slash 100 kilometers unacceptably high, but it will completely satisfy someone. So in the case of Seed, some owners are outraged, gentlemen, my Volvo also eats, 249 horsepower, more than 2 tons. In the city of 12 liters for sure. For 1.6, this is crazy consumption, BMW 3 eats 7 to 8 liters. Comma purely positive impressions, and apart from consumption, 12 L slash 100 kilometers on average in the city, I don't know what to say negatively. Others write, consumption pleases, city 8.2 to 10.2. Depending on how you drive, highway 6.9 to 7.6, again, depending on how you drive, consumption in the city 11, on the highway plus or minus 8 liters, I think it's quite good. But in general, the majority of owners evaluate the efficiency of their cars quite positively and give significantly lower numbers, especially consumption on the highway. In this case, it is especially interesting that the owners of versions with hydromechanics and a 130 horsepower G4 FG think so. It's no secret that robots and mechanical gearboxes, as a rule, provide lower consumption than classic machines consumption 7.7 .7 liters slash 100 km in the combined cycle. On one tank you can get to St. Petersburg, the car eats relatively little, I fit into 7.5 L slash 100 kilometers on the highway, my wife somehow managed to make 5.7 L slash 100 kilometers, according to the onboard computer, but I cannot do that. 
True, the readings of the onboard computer should not be considered the ultimate truth. The consumption on checks was 5.5 L slash 100 kilometers along the highway, and the BC showed 5.2. After 100,000 kilometers, it increased to 6.2, and at 255,000, the consumption became 7.1 on the highway, and the BC showed 6.5. In general, you can focus on the following figures. In the case of a tandem of a 135 horsepower G4 FD engine with direct injection and a DCT robot, 5.5 to 6 L/100 kilometers on the highway, 8 to 9 liters in the city and 7 liters in mixed mode. And in in the case of a 130 horsepower G4 FG and fluid mechanics, 6 to 7.5 L/100 kilometers on the highway, August 5th. 10 liters in the city and about 8 liters in mixed mode. Considering that the car completely digests the AI-92, although the owners write that this increases the risk of catalytic converter failure, then this item of regular expenses turns out to be quite acceptable. Well, altogether, this leads to the fact that Kia Seed is very slowly losing value, and it is quite realistic to sell the car in a year or two for almost the same price at which it was bought, and this also applies to purchases in the secondary market. After 3.5 years, I sold it for almost the same price as I bought it. Hate number two, low ground clearance and big overhangs. Of course, the owners consider the ground clearance too small for our conditions to be one of the main drawbacks of the second generation Kia Seed. Indeed, 150 millimeters is quite a bit. Moreover, the softness of the rear suspension springs leads to the fact that even a full tank makes the car sit down by at least a centimeter, and a full load reduces the clearance even more. Low, it would be better if it was at least 165, because a full a tank of gasoline is minus a centimeter, if not more. In winter, I constantly sit on my belly on the way to the dacha. As a result, the reviewers insist that the seed is a pure city and road car, a model for city driving and suburbs with good roads. On a bumpy road, it catches with protection, clearance 150 millimeters, summer residents, don't even look at this car, comma the ground clearance is too small, so I often put my bottom on the ground, after which the cats scratch my soul for another week. However, you can get your share of troubles in the city, especially in winter. It's hard to drive in winter. You'll sit down and look at your belly. You have to carry a shovel. Landing is rather low for those places where they do not clean the snow in winter. Well, the curbs are waiting for the driver sit all year round. Once I pulled out the front bumper on a high curb. I drove out of a crowded place, looked carefully, so as not to knock anyone down, and did not see any obstacles, I made it a rule to park to the curb only in reverse, you can't get close to the curbs, most likely the skirt will come off. It's good that it is black. According to the owners, the car is very good for family trips to the sea and other trips on public roads, but low ground clearance and large overhangs overshadow every exit from the asphalt. And if the issues of ground clearance and penetration of the suspension in most cases can be solved by installing auto buffers or spacers, then overhangs will definitely not be defeated. In short, Kia Seed owners, beware. Mounds, pits, curbs and other potholes are on the alert. Reduce speed on rough roads, park in reverse and turn on your head. Love number two, practicality and capacity. Of course, Kia C2 can be considered quite roomy and practical car. In the reviews of the owners, this can be found a lot of evidence, even when it comes to hatchbacks with not the largest trunk volume of 380 liters, it would be a fairy tale, the interior feels more spacious than it is, all the doors have convenient niches into which a 1.5 liter bottle of water fits, and there is still room for other small things. The hatchback trunk turns out to be more convenient in terms of loading height. Getting and folding things is much easier than in sedans. We went to my mother-in-law for a month a ton of junk fit in. There is enough space in the cabin for us with an average height. Well, if you fold the rear row of seats, then, as the owners write in their reviews, at least carry a refrigerator. One of the authors boasts that he transported a one-room apartment in three flights, another that he took away a metal cabinet 168 by 75 by 50 centimeters without any problems. 
but even in a 5 seat configuration, a set of 4 16 inch wheels or a folded baby stroller with a couple of bags can fit into the trunk of the hatch without any problems. What can we say about Seed SW Wagon? I brought two doors from Leroy to the house, very roomy. You can pick up a refrigerator in it from the store, and a stove everything fits, you get big savings on delivery from the store. The owners especially like the fact that when folding the back row, a space with a flat floor is obtained. Moreover, the size makes it possible to organize a full-fledged sleeping place in the car. The trunk is unrealistically huge, you can make a flat floor and sleep, and it's also comfortable to sit in it, using the trunk lid as a canopy, you can go out into the countryside with friends, and use the trunk with the interior as a tent two people fit freely, and there is enough space, they did not use the hotel on the road. The three of us slept in the trunk, the station wagon is just a ferry. Tail, the back row folds into a flat, without tubercles, without any reservations flat, floor. Put on your sleeping bag and go to sleep. It is no coincidence that Seed SW accounted for more than half of total sales. This car will suit both a respectable family man with two children of senior school age and the younger generation because it looks even better than a hatch and an individual entrepreneur who needs to carry small consignments of goods. Hate number one, noise isolation. In at least 8 out of 10 reviews, the authors mention insufficient sound insulation as the main disadvantage of the Kia Seed. The noise in the cabin is scolded even more often than the lack of ground clearance and low traffic. Someone, of course, speaks out quite carefully, it's noisy at high speeds, especially in winter on spikes, of the minuses, I would note sound insulation, in particular, the noise from the wheel arches in the road is more noticeable than in the focus, insulation is weak, but quite tolerable, of the minuses only shunka, it could have been better. But there are also enough of those who literally cut off the shoulder. The noise is just terrible. When driving 110 kilometers slash H, the interlocutor in the passenger seat is no longer audible. You have to scream and don't even try to tell jokes to the passenger in the back. He won't hear them. The only minus soundproofing of the wheel arches as if it is not there at all. The main disadvantage is Shunka. It is not from the word at all. How to deal with this is quite understandable. Everything is decided by installing additional sound insulation. The result is also understandable. I rustled four doors. This turned out to be quite enough. Noise isolation of the arches, additionally installed in the car dealership, made the trip even more comfortable. It is clear that someone puts up with noise, believing that it is enough to turn up the sound volume of the speaker system. By the way, Kia Seed produces quite a decent sound, but many people prefer to spend some money and solve the problem radically. Well, those who are looking for a car on the secondary market have a good chance to find a copy with additional noise insulation already installed. Well, the owners certainly consider the highest reliability of this car to be the main advantage of Kia Seed 2. The number of reviews in which the authors write that in two to five years of operation they have never encountered the need for any serious repairs, limiting themselves exclusively to scheduled maintenance, simply cannot be counted, and, conversely, reviews with mournful lists of breakdowns and cost calculations there is simply no way to repair them. Still, Koreans really do things. A wheelbarrow is fire. We went on a long distance trip to the Crimea, as if in one breath, I changed one light bulb for the entire run. Before that, they were frightened by problems with the catalyst, but all these are stories for the naive, fill in normal gasoline, and you will be happy, I never stopped by for repairs, there was no need, amazing reliability. Three years of operation and more than 80,000 kilometers and only consumables. On the previous car, I changed the anti-roll bar lever, the left hub assembly, the wiper mechanism assembly in the same period, the most reliable car I have ever had. At the moment, the mileage is 127,400 kilometers, there were no serious breakdowns, I only changed oil and consumables, Kama owned several brands before him, Opel, Audi, Mercedes, Chevrolet, and, surprisingly, this Korean forced such a run everyone was brainwashed. The Koreans have achieved a quality that is not inferior to the Germans and the Japanese. Such statements can be quoted literally endlessly. Or here is such a very revealing story, 
I bought it with a mileage of 273,000 kilometers in a taxi depot. Working next year in taxi mode, dashed off another 100,000 kilometers. There were no problems with this car at all. On a run of 365,000 kilometers, I shook up the chassis, and the service said that the chassis was factory. 365,000 kilometers on a native Hodavka, it's just great. Against this background, stories about SIDS with a mileage of 500 to 600,000, which worked like clockwork, are not perceived as tales of Uncle Remus and Ferrietief's fantasies. That is why it is worth listening to those who claim that it is quite possible to find a used seed of 2017 with a mileage of about 70 to 80,000 kilometers with a single owner at a price of about 800,000 rubles, and that such a car without any serious breakdowns run for another five years, the car is really reliable, and I think that the next owner of my Kia will drive it just as smoothly for the next 60,000 kilometers. As we have already said, such reliability leads to the fact that a car loses its price much more slowly with age than classmates. From the point of view of the seller, this is, of course, good, but from the point of view of the buyer, not so much. But here everyone decides for himself what is better, to spend money on the initial purchase and count on a few years of a quiet life, or save money, but then regularly invest in installments in current repairs.